Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, end screen or outro in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. Here you can see, I have already imported the logos for Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Which we will be using while creating social media handlers. So without any wait, let's start creating our end screen. Create a new composition. Name it as end screen. As usual set width and height to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Frame rate to 30 frames per second. Here I will set time duration to 10 seconds. You can increase time duration according to your requirement. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as background. Now in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to background layer. Let's set the fill color. Perfect. Now select the rounded rectangle tool. For fill, make sure fill is set to solid color. Here you can set fill color. Now create shape as shown. In rectangle 1. In path. Unlink the size, here we will set size X to 2000. And Y to 500. Change roundness to 300. For shape layer 1. In effects and preset, search for drop shadow. Add it to shape layer. For drop shadow. Change opacity to 100%. Change softness to 100. For shape layer 1. Press R to bring up rotation. Change rotation to 115 degrees. Now we will position the shape layer. You need to position it as shown. Perfect. Now create duplicate of shape layer 1. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Position the duplicate layer. Now again create duplicate. Position it as shown. Now again create duplicate. Position it as shown. For shape layer 4. We need to change the size for Y axis. Change size to 800. Slightly adjust the position. Perfect. Now let's create keyframes for position of shape layers. Let's start with shape layer 1. Press P to bring up position. At 20 frames. Create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timeline. Adjust the position as shown. You can see the preview. Similarly, we will do this for all the shape layers. For shape layer 2. Press P to bring up position. At 20 frames. Create keyframes for position. At start of the timeline. Adjust position as shown. For shape layer 3. Create keyframes for position. At start of the timer line, adjust position as shown.
For shape layer 4. Create keyframes for position. At start of the timer line, adjust position as shown. You can see the preview. Now select all created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. This will create smooth slide effect. Select all shape layers. Pre-compose them. Name it as Shapes 1. Now we will create circle shape for channel art. Select ellipse tool. Create circle as shown. Change fill to white color. Add drop shadow. Change opacity to 100%. Softness to 100. Perfect. Select Rectangle tool. Now create shape as shown. This will be for video suggestion box. Add drop shadow. Change opacity to 100%. Softness to 100. Perfect. Let's create duplicate of this shape layer. Position it above, this will be another video suggestion box. You can see the preview. At 20 frames. Select all three shape layers. Press T to bring up opacity. Create keyframe for opacity. Change opacity to 0%. At 1 second. Change opacity to 100%. You can see the preview. You can also adjust the position of keyframes. Perfect. Now pre-compose them. Name it as Shape 2. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add the text. Here I will increase the text font size. Add drop shadow. At 20 frames. Press T to bring up opacity. Create keyframe for opacity. Change opacity to zero. Add one second, change opacity to 100%. Here I will add another text. Let's adjust the font size. Perfect. Let's add drop shadow. Change opacity to 100%. For text layer, press T to bring up the opacity. Add one second create keyframe for opacity. At 20 frames. Change opacity to 0%. Perfect. 
Now let's create duplicate of text layer. Position it as shown. Perfect. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add our social media handlers. To add them, we will create a new composition. Name it as social. Now let's add Facebook logo to the timeline. Add fill effect to logo. Change color to white. Let's scale the logo. For logo layer. Let's create opacity keyframes. At start change opacity to zero. At 15 frames change opacity to 100%. Let's add Facebook ID. Here I will add my Facebook handler. At 15 frames. For text layer. Create keyframe for opacity. At start, change opacity to zero. You can see the preview. We will do the same for other social icons. Here, for other social media handlers, we will have difference of five frames. Create duplicate of text layer. You can see the preview. Let's do the same for Twitter. You can see the preview. Let's add the main text. Perfect. Now let's add the social composition to end screen composition. Let's adjust the scale. Adjust the position. Perfect. Place this composition at 20 frames. For follow text. We need to create keyframe for opacity. Perfect. For social composition, let's add drop shadow. 
set opacity to 100%. Here our end screen is ready. Let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our end screen is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.